Hey guys, thought I'd do a little Minecraft video here. I'm going to show off a couple things I've learned recently. Uh, I'm I'm not huge on, you know, cobblestone generation and stuff. There was one in the other video. Well, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's possible to make one that turns itself on and times itself so you don't have to do all that manual timing. And it came out a lot more complicated than the other one and much less efficient. I'll show you how that works in a minute. First, I'm going to show you the little, uh, the basics behind it, I guess. Uh, here's a cobblestone generator. If you look here, you got the water source on the left. There's a 2D pole there. You get your cobblestone here and the lava there. But you put the lava in second. The first thing you do is you're going to dig this out. The water, because of the way it works, is going to... I don't have a water bucket in my hand. That would be... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really need to have one to show it, but basically the water is going to go to the nearest hole. That's how it works. You can't let the water, though, you can't let the stream touch the uh, source block of the lava here, or instant obsidian. doesn't matter how you do this, it's going to do that. But you can, actually, uh, something I figured out recently, is if you have the water um, just falling here, if the hole's here, say you have the hole there, and the water's a straight stream here, and the lava's going this way, uh, you get a much more compact one like this. This is uh, my design for that. But... I'm sure someone else has done it already, but that's the basics. Now, here's another thing. Uh, this is the generator. This is how you make a basic cobblestone generator. You can do it as long as you want. You just stand in here and you know you mine until you got enough. That's how you have to do it in Skyblock. I mean, those other challenges is you got to make one of these and then build platforms and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's the do's and don'ts. It's how you build one. It's how you don't build one. Uh, another thing. This is called a block update detector. Now this is not my design. Uh, I can't remember who I originally saw doing it, but a whole bunch of people had different ways of making these. Um, this is the most compact one I've been able to find. Uh, basically, whenever a block updates next to this baby, it makes the piston activate. Now see, because redstone does this, it should... I'm in creative, I think. So I gotta turn off creative. See, redstone actually changes properties when you hit it. Uh, when it starts doing that particle effect. So every time the block updates, the switch is activated. You can actually do no tick like that, or one tick, I guess, and it'll automatically, it'll work as a button. It just sends a single pulse out. I, I prefer it with a single tick uh, myself. It's much more useful for stuff like this, where you can use a lock and key. So you got this. Say there's a door rig to this. You guys know how to make, uh, you know, uh, piston doors. Say you had a piston door rig to this. This is your uh, jukebox, right? Whoops. You got a, a, you know, a CD in your hand, right? What? It's a lock and key, guys. That's it's one of the most basic locks and keys you can make in Minecraft. Is a uh, lock up detector. I'll show you how to build one now. I need to go ahead and get the supplies real quick. What you need is a block, any kind of block, doesn't matter which. A redstone repeater. Uh, you need a little bit of redstone. Excuse me, I just I just uh, um, got this texture pack, so please excuse me if I um, am a little slow picking stuff out. Uh, let's see, where is it? Where you be? Where you be? Oh God, where is it? Probably make myself. Looking. I'll, I'll just do this. There we go. You need a sticky piston uh, and a redstone torch. Where's the torch? Where's the torch? There's the torch. Okay, how you build one of these? Make a hole in the ground. Put this right there. Put this here. Oops. No, there. I, I suppose it might actually work like that. Like that. Three. There. There. Single tick is how I do it. You can do it with a button if you don't really ticks at all. Works as a button. Or not the. It's more of a switch instead of a. You know. Whatever. There we go. And that's how you build one. And then just show it works. Whoa, whoops. I forgot to put the block on the end. Sorry. There we go. The block on the end is important. I'm an idiot. I apologize. There we go. Okay, so that's how you build those. Now I thought maybe I could mix the two devices. Maybe every time this formed, I could set off a bud switch and make uh, a cobblestone generator. So uh, here's, here's what I did. Uh, this here, watch. See if I can get in. Okay, see, there's the lava. The water is actually falling right there. 
And so every time it forms, it does that, and then it shoots this little stream out. There's a whole bunch of pistons rigged there. And then they sit here, they connect this circuit here, which extends this piston, cutting off the water. And then that also uh, turns on another piston over here to cut the lava flow so it doesn't spread all over and break the circuit. But see, that was a lot of work. I can no clip around, I think. And try to show you guys some of the stuff behind it. There's the, uh, this goes into the um, piston at the bottom to cut off the lava flow. The lava flow right here, goes through here, stops there. There's the bud switch that I showed you earlier. Uh, ignore that obsidian, doesn't need to be there. Uh, there's the water. Whoops. Let's go. I've never used no clip, I apologize. What in the, why are you stuck? <laughs> ah, okay. So that's that's basically a bud switch with a cobblestone generator attached to it. And every time this one's broken, it turns it back on. Now this is a lossless cobble generator. That's what I was trying to go for. It's the other one that you saw in my other video. Also a lossless generator. You don't have to worry about losing any. Because if you sat here in mind, you you risk the chance of the blocks you getting you're getting uh, falling directly into this lava. Uh, if you have a, a generator like this, or the one in the last video, you get you get six blocks out of this one. The one in the last video got 16 blocks, so the other one's much more efficient. But you don't lose any. You don't have to uh, risk losing it to the lava. So, uh, that's cool design, I guess. But, as you can see, it's not very efficient. You don't get very many, and it's just... It was a lot of work putting it together. The simplest design for a lossless generator you can get is this. A single regular piston, not a sticky piston, this is, this is your basic uh, cobble generator, except with this trench out to the side. This is 12 blocks long, and basically, you just flip the switch. Completely lossless, okay? As long as you don't, you know, break this one, you're fine. You, you don't lose any locks. So you get everything you want out of it. Uh, but, you know, if you're lazy like me, you know, that's, that's a lot of work. So why don't you just do this? As you can see, I got a cutoff here. This is a, uh, a clock. You just flip it on and off. And those are all max ticks. They're up, I think it's four ticks each. Uh, so I've tried changing the time on it. I couldn't get the uh, the cobble to work consistently on any other time setting. So that might just be me sucking at redstone, but I think the how you gotta have it. And see, it's still running. You don't want that. Cut it off. Basically, what's going on here? Oh, excuse me. Uh, th this right here uh, is cut off. As you can see, this one's no longer connected. It's cut off and the blood goes in the way, because that's how uh, redstone works. It just cuts off the uh, circuit. So it's the easiest way to put an off switch in a clock is basically like that. You can actually rig these up to be automatically activated. Say if I put a... Um, like, look at the sensor over here. Uh, whereas this one, uh, it you know completes the circuit here. You can do one where it breaks the circuit, completes the circuit, whatever, and you just run it back through, and it powers this guy. And if he does that, then you've um, you've got an automatic sh shutoff. It kills the clock. That's good on servers because it breaks lag. Uh, that's what I did on my other um, generator. It's much similar, much more similar to this one than it is to this one. This one's actually, I think, a little more efficient than mine, uh, speed-wise and uh, size-wise. This one's a little better. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's how I did it. Yeah, and yeah, just one more look over this thing. I mean, I think this thing's really impressive, just considering what it is. But it's just not very efficient. You get six cobble every time you use it. That's that's it. Uh, I know you can extend this out another six blocks, but it's still twelve cobble out of that. I mean, for all the work that went into this, you got um, a lot of redstone into this, and it's and trying to get the water and the lava to cooperate with redstone is a bitch, but you've got all this work put into it, and very little uh, bang for your buck. I'm sure there's a way to make it a little more efficient, but I mean, in my opinion, if you're um, a novice redstone uh, worker like me, this is not what you want. You do not want anything like this. Because it's just going to confuse the hell out of you. And if it breaks, you're going to take apart you know, half the thing just to fix it. So, uh, this took me most of the night to build. Uh, like I said, this is the, the most simple design right here for a completely lossless cobble generator. It's just a 12-block trench, a single piston, and a single lever. I mean, that's that's all it takes. Oops, sorry. But yeah, that's that's 
probably the easiest design. Best design for a noob is, like myself, the best design that you're going to get is this. It's also the cheapest. If you look at um, the items required for this, I mean, this is really basic. It works relatively fast. I mean, it's good design in my opinion, but I'm sure somebody disagrees with that. But you know, then you can add this thing on. If you want more speed, add that. And if you have this thing activated, let me go ahead and turn it back on. You can just sit here at the end, and uh, it'll automatically fill. You can sit here and just mine endlessly. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you can actually do uh, a couple rows of this and make it go even faster, because you can actually have... Um, <laughs> I think you can have three lava going at once. You're probably gonna have more than that. Uh, I am a noob once again. Oh, it caught up with itself. See, that's that's one of the reasons I don't like clocks all that much, is they can catch up with themselves even on single player. Oops. So that's that's what I've got to show you guys today. Don't don't mind that. That's just um, my previous attempt at uh, doing all this. I just kind of got frustrated and lava the crap out of it. Uh, so that's it for today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Uh, these are very basic. This is a very basic um, lock up detector, but it does the job if you need a uh, basic lock and key kind of thing. Uh, it's, this is probably my favorite design right here, and I use it. I use this one on servers. It works in servers, uh, and this does work in servers. But I do not recommend putting clocks in servers without talking to a server owner first, because clocks can cause lag. Uh, basically, what happens is um, it's it's like a, a background program running uh, constantly, and it's it's just the server's already already doing so much. It's you know it's doing mobs and uh, updating chunks and everything, and then having that on top of it's not good. So talk to a server owner before you think about putting one of these in. And if you do, I definitely re recommend uh, putting in a shutoff switch like that one. Or an automatic shutoff, so you don't risk the uh, chance of this going constantly and crashing the server. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a nice day.